What's up, everybody? How you living tonight? Um, so that GameStop uh, sale that I let you guys know about that's going on right now, the uh, buy one, get one 50% off. I decided to get a few more things from there. Now, it sucks. You can only, on their website, you can only order two packs of the, uh, the collector's boosters at a time. You can only order two of anything at a time, actually. You can't order bulks off of their website, which is ridiculous. You'd think they'd want to sell more, but apparently not. Uh, in the stores, I think you can get pretty much unlimited. Buy one, get one half off, but online, you can only do pairs of everything. So, I learned my lesson from the first time. I'm sure you saw my other video uh, that where uh, GameStop destroyed the uh, two collector's booster packs. They came to my house in an envelope, and they were completely ruined. They did refund my money on that, but so when I ordered some more, I made sure to get something that they had to put in a box so they wouldn't send them by themselves in an envelope. So I ordered some guild kits and I ordered some Golgari guild kits and I got Selesnia guild kits instead because GameStop. Anyways, um, yeah, not too impressed with their uh, ability to fulfill an order. There's uh, pretty much absolutely no value in here at all from what I've deemed. So, But I figured I'd open it, uh, make a video out of it, and uh, let you guys know what all is in here. So according to the box, we get a Selesnya deck box. We get a 60-card Selesnya deck assembled from all three Ravnica blocks, plus special Selesnya basic lands. Now, that is the one cool thing about these packs, and I think that's the most valuable card in here is the lands. Because they got really cool looking basic lands that only come in these guild kits. Um, Selesnya symbol sticker. You gotta have the sticker, you know. I mean, you gotta stick adhesive near magic cards. That's always a good idea. A Selesnya pin, because, you know, you want to puncture the magic cards as well. Uh, the Selesnya spin down life counter. And five double sided tokens guild themed insert. That's what it says. I don't know what that means. But I guess we'll find out. Anyway, so let's break into this thing and see what all is in here. As I said, I don't think there's really much of any kind of value at all in, in these guild kits currently. You know, maybe down the road they might go up. So there's our Slesnia guild kit deck box. There's our sticker. Woo! It's a pretty big sticker. It's larger than I thought it would be. Here's our little, uh, what's this? Oh, this has got the, the deck breakdown. That I do like that they put the deck breakdown in there in case you want to put it back the way it was. And then it looks kind of like a Christmas card because Selesnya is kind of weak. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. If you're a Selesnya worshiper, I'm just kidding. Not really. Okay, so here's your Selesnya 20-sided 20, 20 uh, spin-down counter. Here's your awesome Selesnya pin. Yeah, I don't get it either. I don't know. I guess Magic's making jewelry now. Nope. We got our full card on top. Our full card is the uh, Tristani Selesnia's Voice. Is that centered? Nope, not even close to centered. All right. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. And it does have um, one colorless, one green, and one white, plus tap to populate which is create a token that's a copy of a creature you, when you control. Wait, create a token that's a copy of a creature token you control. Okay, that makes more sense. It's a two white, two green, and it's a two five legendary creature dryad. So it's also a very kind of thick card. It's kind of weird. Sometimes the, these new cards tend to be thicker than they feel like they should be. So anyways, break into our deck and see what we've got. Okay, so for our rares, We've got Loxodon Hierarch, not a bad card. Um, venerated Loxodon. Oh, we do have a Mythic and Armada Worm. Set that aside. Uh, Tulsa Mare Wolf Blood, another rare. We've got a Grove of the Guardian, rare land. We've got a uh, Glare of Subdul, rare. Got a Growing Ranks, Advent of the Worm, Privileged Position, Bounty of Might, Camerid. Oh, camaraderie. <laughs> camaraderie, yeah, I can I can do those Englishes. And then Hour of Reckoning. So there's actually quite a few rares in here. Uh, so let's count them up. So we got the foil rare on top, or is that a mythic? Okay, that's a mythic. Uh, the foil on top was a mythic. 
So we got two mythics, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bulk rares. <laughs> um, here's our two sided tokens elf knights and sepperlings, apparently. Oh, they're probably all the same. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, that's a that's a Yoda. No, Voja. <laughs> um, and a worm. Okay, and then a centaur and an elemental. Okay, so there's a bunch of different types of tokens. The first two are the same, Sapperlings with uh, Elf Knights on the back. After that, they change up. But there's four Sapperlings, so apparently you're going to be popping out Sapperlings like crazy. All right, so our uncommons look like a uh, Dryad Militant. Uh, oh, that's a common. That's a, a Vernati Shieldmate, Silentia uh, Evangel, 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 Silentia Evangel, okay. Uh, two of those. Uh, Watch Wolf, that's another uncommon. Okay, so those three were commons. Uh, two of the Watch Wolf uncommons. Selesnia Guild Mage, uncommons. Two of those. Centaur Healer, common. Conclave Clavier, no, Cavalier, yeah. English isn't working for me tonight. Siege Worm. We got some Guild Gates. We got the Selesnia Guild Gates with uh, at least two different artworks on them, which is pretty cool. Those look like they're from Guilds. We got the Silentia Sanctuary. Um, not a not a gate, but still kind of dual land. It comes into the battlefield tapped, but oh, and when it enters the battlefield, you return a land you control to its owner's hand, and it's the dual. You get one green and one white when you tap it. And it's yeah, kind of weak. But here's a here's the coolest part of the whole guild, uh, the whole guild kits, and that is these lands. Check out the artwork on the basic lands. The artwork is pretty phenomenal on these. Um, let me see if we got different types of art. Nope, they're all the same. Oh, great. Okay, but here's our forests. So those were our planes. Here's our forests. Check out the, they just look really cool with the uh, the, the logos on them and stuff behind, behind the, the art. Uh, and the artwork itself is actually really pretty. So zoom in on that, there you go. So uh, then we got our forests here. They're all the same, I think. Yep, all the same. All right, then back to some commons. We got a uh, Gather Courage. We got the Signets, so uh, Selengia Signets, two of those. Uh, we got a Call of the Conclave Uncommon, Selengia Charm Uncommon. Uh, I think that's the least least valuable of all the charms ever. Um, Sundering Growth Common, Devouring Light Uncommon, two of those. Conclave Tribunal Uncommon. Scatter the Seeds, two of those commons, and then a Pollen Bright Wings uncommon. So there's your deck. So uncommons total out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got almost as many rares as we got uncommons. And then uh, not too many commons either, if we take out the basic lands here. So uh, counting the the non-basic lands. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 commons. So there you have it. There's your uh, Silingia, uh guild kit uh, from Guilds of Ravnica, I believe. So let me know if you uh, if you like these guild kits. Uh, I'm sure you like the lands. The lands look really cool. So, but let me know if you got any comments about these. Do you think there's any value in them or do you think there'll be any future value in them? Because I think right now there's really just nothing. Uh, probably because they re because they printed so many of these most likely. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you like them, if you bought any. If you bought some just uh, out of giggles. If you, if you think they're going to go up in value. If you like the, do you like the pins and the stickers and all this goofy stuff? Or do you... You know, I, I personally just care about the cards. I'm not into all this kind of kind of goofiness. But the die is kind of cool because they're a unique die that you can only get in the guild kits, I believe. So there you go. Zoom in on that. So I don't know. I'm kind of torn on them. I'm not sure if I like them or not. Uh, Silentius would be my least favorite. Uh, white and green is a combo that I just don't like to run. So uh, I'm not sure if I'd have gotten the gold berries. Maybe I'd have been a little more excited. Like I ordered. Thanks, GameStop. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, did you get anything on the sale? What'd you get? Let me, uh, you know, post a photo or, or video of unboxing or something in, in my comments. That's fine. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Take care.